What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Gamer Dude, here today with another special day of this. We're continuing the Pokemon Black. I always say it. Pokemon White 2 randomizes this log. And I'm excited today. So we're going to take on Berg, another gym leader. Although, today, we're going to answer some physiological or psychological questions. Not physiological. Because there's been a lot of psychiatrics that have been happening to me lately. And it's been very intriguing uh, at what has been going on specifically because holy cow like and we're gonna get into that because it's gonna be fun but first let's get into our team recap as our team is very interesting as it just got changed a little bit we got chill the jirachi the steel psychic type with iron head magnet bomb steel wing metal claw we have metamech the light screen grass fledge energy ball solar beam celebi we got beegers the gardevoir with camouflage thrash heal order and confusion we got michael the aqua tail brine aqua ring and water pulse hun tail and we got chillin the blast burn sketch searing shot and fire punch uh magby so i'm excited today but yeah so let's go ahead as i'm walking to berg because berg is a man of art the human brain is considered art so let's get into this as i am very intrigued with what everything is but like anyway psychologically my first question would be why do people lie because that just doesn't make sense. It tends to hurt people more than it helps people when you do lie. So it's very weird to me that people would decide that that is the better choice to make over like making somebody happy or making people feel good. It's very intriguing because people have been doing that a lot lately to me specifically, like telling me lies about everything. Even though they know that I know the truth, they'll still lie. And it's just crazy it's like but you realize i would be one way less mad if i knew the truth wow that cave was so easy but yet i still managed to take a while in there but like they would they know that it's very much it's much more appreciated if they tell the truth oh wait what did you say aha it is, okay it is we talked we got to go to berg okay so yeah, it's it's weird that people would just do that, even though it is way worse. Um, the other psychological question that I have is, why do people with a high regard get treated so differently? Like, what in the human anatomy makes us as humans, like, say, oh, it's, ex it's excusable for Kylie Jenner to uh, say this because she's a celebrity so therefore she can say whatever she wants it's like that doesn't work that way and it shouldn't work that way but i find it very interesting that in our current day society it sadly works that way like i'm gonna bring up who, who he who should not be named in the pokemon community for a second because that's something that we can all play in part of like he did something horrendous but yet it's okay because he's got 400,000 subscribers yeah what I'm fine right now Anyway, back on my topic of conversation. Um, but, like, because he's got 400,000 subscribers, it was okay for him to do what he did for a lot of people. And it's weird to me, personally, that it would be okay. And I know I bring that up as an interesting, weird example. Oh, I forgot this area is weird. Um, but I bring it up as an example because um, I've been playing this game. It's called Clash of Clans. And 
of course, it's it's an interesting game. It's nothing. It, it, it's just an interesting game. But somebody did something that would get me kicked from the clan, right? And it did. Um, well, actually, I don't shouldn't say it did because I didn't do that thing. But it would get me kicked from the clan, and that would be that's attacking somebody who's already been three starred, and yet. Because this person's highly regarded in the clan, it's okay for her to do that. Because it could be an accident. And I laugh. It made me laugh really hard. Because I was, I was arguing the fact that how could it be an accident? Because, like, one, the game tells you, do you want to attack this person? This person's already been three-starred. Two, you can surrender out of the battle if you do not place the troop down and you know if you accidentally pass that you can do that three the map shows the person has been three starred and then yet it still could have been an accident they could have not known till the end four the hud literally shows you they have been three starred when you're in the battle there is four different signifiers that tell you and then five she makes the envelopes she gives everybody the targets so how in the freaking world could it have been an accident and if she made the targets and then attacked somebody else that had already been three starred but because that person has been such in a high regard she can do whatever she wants to, and she can't get in trouble. Which is insanity, in my opinion. Like, just that as a culture, we just straight up don't really care if somebody does something because they're highly regarded. And so, and I think that definitely needs to change, in my opinion. It should be... That should be complete. We should not be thinking that way. Like, that's a bad way of thinking that can get very out of hand very quickly if we continue this line of thinking. Because, again, it's a matter of. Oh, did I go the wrong. How did I manage to. This should be an easy gym puzzle. Why am I messing it up? Or how am I messing it up? Is there another section of this? No. What am I doing? Is it over here? No. And that blocks you. Sorry, I'm thinking. Um, so it's very funny to me that as a species, we just we do that kind of stuff. And it becomes okay. But yet, it shouldn't. Like, there should be no justification for it. But we do make... Oh. But yeah, but we make justifications for people who have had... High, who have, have higher regard, and it's funny because we, sh like I said, it's just weird. Like, once you get to a certain point, you can do whatever you want, and there's not very many, very much backlash in doing such. So I don't know. You should leave a comment down below. Let me know how you feel about that line of thinking because I'd be interested to see your guys' thought process on that because. It's just, those are two ethical questions that my brain just popped up with over the last week and a half. So, I don't know. Um, I just, I find it dumb, personally, that we do that, so. But we will find out everybody's opinion on the subject today. But yeah, wild. Wild, wild, wild west. And just everywhere. But yeah, like, it's crazy because you can 
really do a lot with a high regard. And it's you can do a lot of good or you can do a lot of bad. It's what you choose with that power that really determines who you are as a person in, on the inside. So, yeah. And that's where I'm going to leave it because that's just, that's just true. It really is. Um, but back on the fun side of Pokemon, how is everybody going? How's everybody doing? That's a Verizion. But you're part fighting, so we have a lot of psychic type Pokemon to handle now. But yeah, how's everybody doing? Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. Um, and we're fighting a gym leader today, so we're going to have a lot of fun. So I, I can't wait. I got physical therapy today, but it's my second to last physical therapy appointment, so we are this close to being done. It's kind of cool. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right after this is going to physical therapy. Um, but yeah, it's, it's fun and I can't wait for it. 1324, Mesprit is the last Mon to come out and that is totally fine with me because Chill will level up again. And if I chained everybody to level 27 because Berg's ace is going to be 28 and his secondary Pokemon are like 26 and 27. Or like either, I think they're 26. So I trained under his ace, but I trained like right in the middle between where he is because I figured that'd be cool. Um, also, random question. Would you guys know how to make all the important trainers of six mons by chance? Um, in three er, in regular DS and below ROMs because I really want to start doing that late, like... I love when all the trainers have six mons, and not being able to have that is weird to me, and I just, I'm not, I'm not for that. I want them all to have six mons, because it creates the element of challenge, and if I don't have the element of challenge, then Pokemon kind of gets boring to me. Um, like, right now, it's not boring. Don't get me wrong. I'm not bored by it. If I was bored by it, I would tell you in a heartbeat, but I need an element of challenge, and if I'm not getting that... It makes it harder. This series has been amazing because I've had to worry about so many things. And there's so many things that I'm weak to generally that it's been cool. But, like, but I need, I, if I were to have a bunch of legendary Pokemon and I knew I was going to win, then what's the point? <laughs> because, oh, we already know I won. So, therefore, it's okay. As I'm using uh, Metal Claw now because I have a 40% chance to raise my attack stat. I did replace that. Speaking of raising my attacks, yeah, that's right there. Like, Chill is an amazing Pokemon. Shield on is Rock Steel. Which theoretically means that this is neutral? Yeah. Oh, wow. Head Smash. That's not doing anything. And gives you recoil and recharge, I believe. Oh, no. Not recharge. Okay. But I, I, I felt like it did, but I guess it does not. Um, is it? Didn't I keep Magnet Bomb for 100%? Yeah, I did. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, well, I got rid of all of my, or my Psycho Shift. That's fine, because, well, Psycho Shift is just terrible. So I do have plus attack and defense if I choose to use it, but I very rarely will do that, so. Oh, what way am I going? I believe it's this way. I believe this way. Oh, no. It's not that way. So it's this way. And we're going to fight Berg. And I guess that might not be the end of the episode. Because there is uh, still way more time in this episode. So the only way that it's not the end of the episode is if we don't get through him in 10 minutes. Ba oh! Uh, okay. An Excadrill. That does actually pose a threat. We're going to go into Michael. I... That's that's good. We got a mod that poses a threat to us. An Excadrill, huh? Trying to think of how we can handle an Excadrill. Oh! <laughs> oh, it has Earthquake! Oh, God. It has Earthquake. It has Earthquake. It has Earthquake. We might actually die today, guys. We might actually die today. Oh god, um I guess we do have Celebi. 
Oh, gosh. That was a low roll. Yeah, we're going to Celebi right now. Oh, boy. Okay. So, grass is neutral. I'm glad I have a fire water grass core now. Grass is neutral to this thing. And its earthquakes aren't doing anything. We have energy ball. Let's go ahead. Utilize that. It's going to do about 50%, I believe. Yeah, that's... Oh! Okay. I am going to energy root. And hope for a miss in terms of the gunk shot department. No, we didn't get it. Oh, God. Oh, no. That does a lot. It does 60 damage. So we can super potion up. But it's going to drop us to 23 this turn. Shit. He keeps miss He keeps hitting it. Oh, God. No, 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 no! Ah! Well, remember what I talked about potentially losing? Um, That might actually happen now. Uh, because we have absolutely no way to fight this. Because Michael is too slow, can't take a hit. We gotta look at summaries. Okay. Metamech had 67 speed. Oh no. 40, 53, 57, 56. I think I actually have to hope that Chillin' is faster. Because 56 speed is pretty fast. And it, Chillin' is. Nice. Okay, good to know. That sucks that we lost Celebi, though. But Chillin' should take care of this. Good. Because there was no way Celebi was taking an Earthquake. But there's also no way that Chillin' was taking a Gunk Shot. Unpheasant is next. Okay, and Pheasant, I can switch into Chillin' on. Or, uh, Chill. I got Chillin' Chillin'. Well, this is gonna make it a lot harder. Okay. But still, and Pheasant doesn't pose too much of a threat. But we did lose our first Mon. I guess I Iron Head it. Oh, this is the Ace. This is the Ace. This is the Ace. This is an Ace. Plus two critical hit ratio on that one. Oh, we got a crit. <laughs> We, of course, we get the crit, and he has the plus two critical hit ratio. 100% accurate. What do you have? Sky drop. Oh, gosh. Wait. Isn't that a two-turn move? It is. Ah. But it is resisted. He did get the crit, but it didn't matter because sky drop is terrible. Okay. Unfortunately, we do have to depart with our first Pokemon, which really sucks. As Cincino is the last Mon, we are fine. We will go ahead, use Chill to our heart's content. And go ahead and Iron Head this thing. To... It's faster. Of course it's faster, John. It's like 100 and some odd base speed. Ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -da what else do you have? Headbutt? Okay, Headbutt's doing nothing. Oh, but it's going to get flinches. Of course it is. Oh, and it's got flame charge to make it faster. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, oh, God. I cannot. No, 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 no. I legitimately cannot. Beakers, get out here. Beakers, you can take a hit. I know you can. I know you can take a hit, but can you take two? You need to. You are my power mon. You need to be able to take some hits. Oh, perfect, perfect. I know I can take a hit. I'm holding onto my wall. You can't see that, but... I know you can take a hit. Thrash? Oh, God, maybe not. 
Oh, okay. Um, shit. It's gonna confuse itself though. And I know Beegers. I know Beegers takes another one. But it does nearly half of my damage. So it goes from 81 to 38. And it didn't get confused. Because of course it didn't get confused. The turn we needed it to. So it does a solid 43 to 48 damage on Beakers. Okay, confused to fatigue. Beegers won't live. But chillin' or chill will unless it's a flame charge. So I have to go into it. Because that is the only Mon that can live. Thrash, nice. Locked into it. Locked into Oh god, that did 13 damage anyway. Holy crap. I was not expecting that to do 13 anyway. But that is good to know. Also, we should put Orin Berries on our Pokemon that don't have any items. Uh, confused, and you are locked into Thrash as you may not be this turn, though. Oh, this is so nerve-wracking. I am going to Iron Head. I know I'm slower. Are you locked into Thrash still? You hit yourself in confusion anyway. We'll never know. But Iron Head will kill. Woo! We lost one Mon, and that's unfortunate for Metamac. We did lose Metamac, our starter, but we did beat Bird. And this battle did take a little longer than expected. So, uh, should we end it off? Honestly? That's our third badge. Jeez. We're, we're really trucking. Quick guard. Yay. Trash TM. We love them. Um, I just, I feel like there's... Like, I'm trying to think, like, what is the... Like, is there any real... I think we do fight our rival. I do think we fight Eren. Which definitely makes me not want to progress. Because that's another battle before an encounter. But it's an encounter. Like, I've been trying to keep... Okay, so basically, the reason why I'm debating this is I've been trying to keep my episodes in between 20 to 25 minutes. Um, I feel like that's just great length of time for episodes. And so, we're at, like, the 23-minute mark. So, yeah, I will end up leaving you on a cliffhanger because I do believe we fight Eren. And Eren's got a scary Darymon. A very scary Darymon. Um, we do have to say goodbye to Metamech. So, we love you, Metamech. I hope you have a fantastic day. I'm sorry your mom died. It was a crit. At least we can say that. It died to a critical hit. And that's going to be the first Mon that does die. The unfortunate death. You do not have an item. Box 8 is your place to be. But, in the next episode... We will be trying to get another encounter to replace Metamech. Unfortunately, we do have to do that. He will have a quick replacement, but hopefully we can have a grass type so we can complete the Firewater Grass Core. Maybe a Grass Poison type or something like that. That would be fantastic. Or, you know, a Steel, like, because Fairy wasn't in this game yet, so, like, Fighting or Dark, there's a lot of possibility that we can add to this team. So, I can't wait. Hopefully you guys enjoyed maybe a fighting type, but thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode. Peace out, guys.